So this is my third electronics kit from Banggood. I've got a nice little chip which hopefully will cheat all the cool stuff out. Some sort of razor bits and there's not many components here for this but there is a huge bag of LEDs. So this is hopefully going to be one of those light LED cube things. I have no idea how to put these together. So I'm on the website at the moment and as you can see here, uh, if I scroll up and down, it just says, oh yeah, look how cool it's going to look and here's a neat schematic. I have absolutely no idea how I'm going to put these LEDs together into the cube. It just doesn't show me at all. So, it does have a 5 rating. I don't think I've seen any uh, downloads. In fact, I've definitely not seen any downloads. So, it will be to YouTube to go and um, have a look and maybe even this video will show me how to do that. Anyway. I'll crack on and see how I get on. Hey, huh. so I've got the electronics soldered. It was a bit confusing because there's this thing here. There's a resistor that's marked here without resistance, without an ohm. Uh, this little uh, capacitor had gone walkabouts. Couldn't find it anywhere. Anyway, eventually did find it, but it was buried in the packaging for the remote control. But yeah, so as you can see, I've wired that up. I've started doing the LEDs. Uh, I'm testing as I'm going, so every sort of four or so um, LEDs I'm turning it on, it has a buzzer on it, which is so bloody annoying. It's really loud and pitchy. Anyway, um, my soldering is really bloody awful. You can probably see it's all wonky. None of it's lined up. But... It'll do. That's all I care about. Um, there really aren't any instructions online, um, certainly not from Banggood anyway. Um, this There's a gentleman here, Bas van der Schuss. Um, anyway, his video here, so how to build the 4x4 LED, 4x4x4 LED cube kit with remote from eBay part 2. So the part 1 kind of goes over the the, um, the bit of building the PCB, but the part 2 is the one that um, shows you how to um, actually put the LED cube on top because there really aren't any um, clues. The, the, um, the overriding rule is that um, uh, with the, um, the power pins on this side, so you've got the power that goes in this side on your left hand side, um, you need to position these so that the long pin in the middle points this way and then back this way and that the longer leg is always the bot on the bottom. So they're labelled P P04, P05, P06. So P04 is here. That needs to be the the sh the longer length on the bottom. P14 is the shorter length. Um, you'll also find that you need to um, trim off the ends. And these actually, you know, these straights here, they go straight onto the same solder joint as the ones beneath. Um, which is really fiddly. Oh my lord. Fiddle, fiddle. I'm sure if I had like a contraption with the clippy arms that everybody tells me I should go and get, it'd be much easier, but um, I haven't got one. So I'm doing with what I can. The other thing is, um, he tells you how to, um, that he's guessing, but it does work, that um, you've got to bend round at the end of that row and put it into so the the middle pin of p13 p03 goes into p20 on this little bed of four here and likewise with with the run that's on the bottom here the middle pin from p13 p03 goes into p24 um, I imagine as I go up, so this length here that's on the second layer, I'm imagining will go into P21. Um, that's basically it. Um, 
I'll film again once I've got it all constructed. Okay, so I'm part of the way done. You can see hopefully that they're not aligned, but I don't care. I'm just trying to, you know, hone my skills. I knew it was not going to be perfect, but Boy, oh boy, this is taking a long while. Um, I've got a couple of duds. Uh, this one here never lights in red. I've looked at the connections. They all look fine. I can only assume that there's a fault with the LED. I have no idea. This one here also is playing silly buggers. I think it ooh, I think it doesn't light red either. I'll look in a sec. Yeah, you see it never actually glows red. A bit annoying, but... In the grand scheme of things, it's okay. I'll carry on with it tomorrow. Um, I just totally run out of energy for it today. Okay, so it's Sunday morning and I took the task of completing my little cube. <laughs> I say cube. Uh, I would think that if I turn it on its top, it kind of wobbles a lot. I don't think I could justifiably call it a cube. It's four by four by four. Um, it's not straight, it's wonky. The solder joints are all splodgy and it does look like a two-year-old did it. But it was uh, the first time I'd done this, there were no instructions. I really couldn't find any decent instructions, particularly on the building of this top bit. Um, like I said, the base was relatively simple to do, actually. It was just this big STC chip. Um, this is really complicated. A little, maybe a little uh, housing so that you could, uh, like a little wood frame so that you could put these, push these into and, and then solder them in place and then stack them on top. That would have made for a slightly easier one. You know, in retrospect, I could have probably made one up, but. Say la vie. Right. Let's turn it on. Uh, you are warned. This is a really annoying sound and you can't turn it off from the unit. You have to use the funky little remote control that comes with it. So it's going to turn on. Yeah, it is ear piercingly loud. So you press this button here, this one at the top here. Ah. Oh. Okay, there we go. Eventually it works. Um, yeah, so it kind of works. It does what it's supposed to do. Um, it keeps going through these. I wish it would stay on one pattern for a bit longer. It just keeps cycling really, really quickly. Um, I kind of thought that maybe the buttons on here, you'd be able to pick the specific one that you wanted it to stay on. But um, most of them, you can press this button here and it seems to do it slightly more slowly or the pattern changes slightly. Um, I haven't really played around with it very much. Um, the kids love it. The kids think it's fascinating. Um, it's okay. Like I say, probably main problem was building these out. Uh, oh, that's the other thing to say is that some of the LEDs don't glow. And I've had a look at the solder joints and they all look fine. There's just like this one here, for instance, just doesn't seem to glow ever. I've looked... I've tried to trace it back. I can't see what I've done wrong. Anyway, say la vie. We move on. Um, it's a good little kit for the price. Take care. See you next time. Bye.